Boop. Boing. Uh. Hey everyone, welcome back to Majora's Mask Randomizer. I'm Captain Forest Falcon. And to start off today, we are not going to be accepting his offer uh, because we aren't here for that. We are here to find out what we are going to be getting from this swamp title deed. Which I went to a lot of effort to try and pick up. Oh, no, I need a Deku scrub. That's what I need. <laughs> this guy's... All of these day business scrubs are very picky. They called business scrubs. I think business scrub is one that's used in the first one. These guys might be merchant scrubs. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. And what are you going to give me for this? What are you going to give me? Ugh. So, good news, we went through the whole spire house and our reward was a swamp title deed which led to a Garrow's mask which we don't need because we already have both the other Akana Canyon masks. Oh joy, thankfully though, um, yeah, there's nothing really to be thankful for about that. That kind of just means I just wasted my time doing that whole nonsense of trying to get through there without the fire arrows. <laughs> And I didn't even have to. There was absolutely no point. Except if I'm going for all the masks. And... Uh, do I even care about this piece of heart? Because what I really need to do... Uh, before the day ends is I need to go get my sword stolen. Man, I also need to stop forgetting every time I... It's a new recording session. Which, uh... Which one I'm supposed to push for the Song of Soaring? <laughs> I wouldn't push it so many times if it weren't for the fact that my recording setup means I can't hear the audio. So I can't actually tell what song I'm playing. <laughs> I am going entirely based off of memory. Oh, but hopefully... Thankfully, we actually do have a lot to do today. Oh, but look at this mask. Look, we actually have our first row complete. Isn't that nice? Would have been a bit nicer with the buddy hood, but either way, we still would have had a useless mask, so... But... let's see... I want the Goron Link again, to be Goron Link again, because... I don't know if the bird appears at night. That's the thing. And I left this till very, pretty much the last minute. Okay, bird, where are you? I've got my sword out. Come and get it. Come and get it. There we go. You see, I I may have screwed that up once when I did the re-recording, but I, it was because I didn't have, wasn't facing him with my sword. Every time I've had him looking right at my sword, he's stolen it every time. I've never had a problem with bottles being stolen. It's great. Okay, and then what the heck, we have one more thing I wanted to take care of before we're all set for... Heading back to the Akana Graveyard. Yeah, we're actually going to get to do some fun stuff. Keep on doing stuff in Akana Canyon. I love it. I mean, after all, I think all we really need to do is, after this, is... Uh... What am I talking about? All we have to do after we take care of the uh, graveyard here is... We just need to then go and do... You know, the stuff in the castle, and then we're off to the temple. And there's not really anything else I would need to do in a can of canyon anymore. Except the cafe side quest, but that's another topic. And honestly, the uh, cafe side quest, it never really feels to be like it's truly in a can of canyon. Because I know the area down below is supposed to be a can of canyon, but because of the fact that you need the ice arrows to get up to the top part... It never really feels like you're in the heart of it. It feels like you're, oh, you're just in the area down below. You're in purgatory right there. <laughs> the purgatory of a can of canyon. Yeah, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Okay, can I make it? Nice. And just get right going and roll out of here. Okay. This is beginning to look like familiar territory now. We've been here quite a bit. <laughs> Especially since I came back here to do the silly guy who's doing the... Uh, oh. Rude. Rude bubbles. Since I came back to do the guy with the potion and whatnot, 
We've made quite a few trips back here, and now we're making yet another to get the song. You! Stand at attention! Listen to your captain! Your captain has an order for you! And that is... Guard the grave, keep doing good work. No, open it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We just listen to the commands of... We've been guarding these ga graves very carefully for how many years? Oh, but you just decided today that... Today of all days is the day to open it up. Okay, sure, why not? I see no problem with that. <laughs> I mean, nothing sounds wrong to them about the idea of, oh, just open this grave that we've been carefully guarding for all this time. Please tell me. Please tell me the game isn't doing this to me again. Please tell me the game isn't doing this to me again. Oh, thank gosh. For a minute. For a minute there, the game had me thinking. Game had me thinking it was going to pull another, oh, you can't do this without the fire arrows. I was going to... I'm sorry. I was going to lose it if the game was going to do that to me again. But no. See? See? We don't need to... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The stupid... The stupid curse. I'm sure it was the stupid curse. Oh, wait. I don't have a sword. That's it. Gosh dang it. Half of this... Uh, these more recent episodes have been me without uh, a sword. And so I'm just not... I can never put my Deku sticks away properly. Okay, so now I think it's time to put Fierce Deity against another tough opponent. Let's see this. Doop. Oh gosh. Doop 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 doop. <laughs> He's so big that he can just easily backflip away and hit him from afar. Doop 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 doop. doop. Like, seriously, this guy is a joke with Fierce Deity. <laughs> These guys are tough. I I believe I died to this one in my first playthrough of Majora's Mask when I was a kid. They hit like a truck, but Fierce Deity has an unbelievable range. I mean, he's bigger than them. Uh, who said that? Oh, there you are. For a minute, I thought that Fierce Deity was so big he was blocking him out from the screen. <laughs> Okay, Flat, teach us the song and we'll be on our way. Oh, Bashar, my dear brother, he sold his soul to the devil and now he just plays horrible, horrible music. Wow, that was a great shot there, Fierce Deity. Because I'm pretty sure he was never intended to be any in any cutscene, ever. Except in the end part of the game. In the end part of the game, and bosses... Pretty much, but we're just going to have him in all of these. In as many cutscenes as possible, he must be in them. Ah, uh, good old Song of Storms. Truly a Legend of Zelda classic. I mean, how many times has this song actually appeared in the Legend of Zelda franchise? Has it actually appeared beyond Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask? Like, I feel like it's might be in the same sort of boat as Gerudo Valley, in that I don't think those songs appeared anywhere else other than in uh, those two selections. Oh, really? Really? Mr. Owl has too much trouble getting into the barn, but I see he has no problem flying down an open grave, huh? Sure, sure, why not? Mr. Owl can just come into any grave he wants. Can't go in a barn, which would actually make sense for an owl. I mean, there's owls ca called barn owls, but nope. Mr. Owl here prefers to go into graves. Oh, why? <laughs> I know it doesn't really cause much problem, but seriously, why does the owl not fly into the barn, but he's perfectly happy going into the places like graves, going into other houses? He went into the spider house of all places. And into the grave. He goes into the most peculiar places imaginable. Oh, I know what I need to do. We need Fierce Deity in another cutscene. Let's go forward. <laughs> See, he's so tall. 
He actually appears there. I don't think you can actually really see Link in that position there. What business have you in a can of king? Blah, blah, blah. I have no business whatsoever except to get one more item, which I was absolutely terrified a few minutes ago that I wasn't going to get because of fire arrows again. Because fire arrows are going to be the bait of my existence. I swear, they're going to be what the ice arrows were for me in my first uh, attempt at a randomizer. Okay. Let's go, let's do this. Man, how long has it been since I've actually been in this place and done this? It feels like forever. Uh, no, the song. No, it can't be. Oh, and the game, of course, because of the special effects here, the cutscene is all black screen. Oh, it's so sad. I love this cutscene. Maybe I'll find it and put it up so you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, I could... But, yep, we're going to screw with Gibdos. I don't think I've done this part in ages, because... Like I said, it's been a really long time since I've actually uh, gotten to do a Can of Canyon stuff, so... I mean, my Let's Play, I never reached a Can of Canyon, and any randomizers I did in practice, I never really got to do a Can of Canyon stuff either. I haven't done a regular playthrough in ages, so... Yeah, there's no point in doing the whole Song of Storms bit. Man, you guys hate this song? I thought you guys would love it. The booze loved this song in uh, Super Mario 64. <laughs> I mean, come on, they have their own merry-go-round dancing to something similar to this. It might be the same song. Why? Why is Tattle down there? Seriously, why is Tattle down there? You saw that, right? Tattle is somewhere off over there. Does that mean that for this cutscene, uh, they actually have Link outside somewhere for it? Tattle, you have betrayed the developer's true intentions. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and now, we can go there. Hooray! Flat, my dear brother, forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Never! You will never be forgiven. Ever. You will have to do stay here and do trickery and whatnot, and I'll go to the temple and deal with that. Okay. His final request is that I go talk to the king, which I've attempted to do, or was going to attempt to do, except I realized I couldn't, because I am missing the fire arrows. <laughs> As it shall be for a long, long, long time. <laughs> okay. Well, this is where things like the stone mask will come in handy. I mean, it isn't required, but it lets me just sneak past her really quickly. It's so weird that at this section of the game, you actually have to play a bit of stealth by sneaking past a, a tiny girl. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I had to see Fierce Daddy still way too big for anything. Uh, seriously, that guy is really dang creepy. It's like a, this is this whole area, this whole section here is like a mixture of sadness and terrifying. Uh -huh. Oh, but it's also one of the most heartwarming parts because every other time you've done like a a healing of someone, it's you've never really truly been healing. You've just been sort of like save helping their soul uh, find peace more than anything. Whereas this time you're actually helping out a family. This little girl has been going through the worst nightmares imaginable. It actually is a rather touching scene, and I'm happy that we got to do it. And we've got the Gibdo mask, and now we'll have to find out what it actually is. 
think it's one of the few times you actually... One of the few times you actually feel happy playing the Song of Healing because you know you're actually making a real difference for them. And we got the room key, which is going to be so helpful for us. So, so very helpful. But at least we got to have a heartwarming scene out of it, right? That's what matters. It doesn't matter if we make progress. What matters is that we helped that family out and we helped make a Candy Canyon a happier place. Despite being a place filled with undead and floating skulls and givdos and redeads and all the great stuff. Oh, so what do we have to do now? Not too much, I'm afraid. I think all we really have to ow, do right now is wait for our... Um, yeah, our good friend the bird to finish delivering that sword and the shop to open up so we can get one more item. And then after that, I think it's just those two items left. We, like I said, we are getting a bit desperate here. We really need to find the fire arrows, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I never did that, did I? I don't think I did. Okay, well, at least while I was sitting here, I think I thought of one more thing that we might be able to... <laughs> one more thing we might be able to do uh, before we're in trouble with the fire arrows. I thought of one more item drop, so that's good. It's nice having those little moments to just sit and wait around before I realize that... We have no item drops. Oh, hey! We got the buddy hood! Remember what I was saying about how it would be nice to complete another row of masks? Well, we did that! We completed the Star Fox crew. Fox, Falco, Peppy, Slippy, Pigma. Oh, and we only have four more masks to get. And I think, have we gotten pretty much all of these items? Yeah, all that's left it really is the pendant. After that, I think we have gotten every single possible trading item there is. So, we're doing pretty good, I think, for not being able to get some of the items that we need to get. Yeah, of course we're doing pretty good for not being able to get some of the items that we need to get. So... I just need to figure out now what the heck was the Deku Princess again. Um, I'll be a minute. Nope. 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 Okay, I guess the one good thing about having the keys is we don't need to go up to the roof to get into the house. That's actually a plus. Also... I can go get an extra hundred rupees for doing nothing but a little legwork. So, yeah, we get a little bonus. And if I want to, I could come back here and check out the cutscene on the second day. That might be worth it to show in an LP. I mean, I know it's a randomizer and it's you don't really care as much about the story as in a regular playthrough, but... You know, it's fun to actually find some of those cutscenes and get to do them. Okay, uh, bugs. Bug? Oh, right, bugs are the seahorse. My bad. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't really need our bottles for anything. And I just need spring water. That's the seahorse. That's not the seahorse. That's the fit. The fish is red potion. I gotta go somewhere else for our hot for regular spring water. Because regular spring water I don't think is blue potion, is it? Okay. Give me my uh, sword back. Thank you. And oh, that reminds me, I don't think I actually did this. I need to go get Cafe's letter again, don't I? <laughs> yeah, otherwise this entire uh, exercise has been completely futile. I've been doing something completely futile. There's no point in actually doing that if I don't go and get the letter. 
Right, so... Where was the letter again? I think I know where. I think I know where. Okay. Okay, so I've been making a mad dash around, collecting all the items uh, yet again, and there's one more thing I think it might possibly be. One more thing we haven't bothered to pick up in a long time, but that I was yelling about a few episodes ago. I'm betting you it's actually going to be that dang hot spring water. Which would actually make perfect sense, considering, uh, I feel pretty sure that, uh, we did pick it up before, and I, it would only make sense for it to be something that would cause me misery. <laughs> also, I'm gonna be smart here, use the Deku mask, don't want to fall in the water right now. Okay, guys, you know, it's been a really long episode for me. Uh, I know uh, there's a lot I'm going to cut out here, but... Next time on Majora's Mask Randomizer, we're going to find out what this hot spring water is, and if it's the Deku Princess, we're hopefully going to be able to go and take care of some other things. So, may you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.